Do you want to start an Amazon FBA business, but you may be in the situation where you don't have the money to get up and going? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some ideas on different ways that you can start with literally zero dollars and slowly build that to a thousand dollars so that you can start your own private label business. So we'll see you inside. What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trevin Peterson, I'm a full-time multiple six-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to start your own Amazon FBA private label business when you have no money. So this is a question that I, and a message that I get literally every single day, and people will say, hey, I wanna start private label, but I don't have money. And the reality is, is to start your own business, any business, you have to have some money to invest. To then get a return you have to invest in products to then sell there's not really a business um, and people will say like oh drop shipping or affiliate marketing or YouTube the reality is you have to have money to start that you have to have the camera you have to have a laptop you have to have um, the software tools you have to pay for Shopify I mean every business I don't care what it is whether it's a $50 startup or a thousand you have to have some money to invest um, to actually then get a return. So um, in today's video, I'm going to show you legit opportunities that you can literally go around your house, find a few things, sell those, turn those into a $20 profit, and then with that $20, you can then slowly invest and start growing from literally nothing to six figures, okay? So just as kind of a disclaimer, zero to six figures, yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. Any business that you're wanting to start or do, I don't care what business model it is, it's going to take longer than a month. You're gonna have to put in the work and where I'm at currently didn't just happen overnight and that's the thing that a lot of people don't see is they just see the, the success at the end and they don't see the behind the scenes, they don't see the work that went into their actual business. So have that in mind throughout this video, you're gonna have to put in the work if you want to get the results so um, let's talk about the first thing just real quick and then I'm gonna kind of show you guys around my house different things you guys already have seen a house tour so I'm gonna show you some different things that you guys can do to start making money right now so the first thing is super obvious um, if you don't have a job and you're wanting to start a business and your excuse is you don't have money go get a job go get a part-time job go work somewhere minimum wage I don't care what it is Maybe you're a high school student and you're living with your parents and you don't have to pay for rent or you don't have to pay for anything and you're basically living for free, but you need money to start. Well, go get a job and save up. Maybe you're in college. Go get a part-time job or whatever the case is. Um, and, and that's very important. Like I was saying, you have to put in the work. If you're not willing to put in the work, then Amazon entrepreneurship, starting your own business is probably not for you. So have that in mind. So that's the first thing. If you don't have a job, then go get a job. And for those that do have a job that are working, that are hustling, my biggest tip for you is where can you save and cut some money out? Where can you look at your expenses? Where are you spending money that you could not spend? Maybe eating out, maybe going to the movies, maybe downgrade your car, or maybe don't buy the newest, greatest iPhone, or whatever the case is. Find expenses, cut them out, and save little by little. And then as you do that, you'll start slowly building up some money and then you can do what I'm about to show you and little by little you even build up more capital. So um, those are kind of the first two things. Get a job if you don't have one and if you do have one, save, cut out expenses and you'll slowly start getting some capital to then invest, okay? You need money to make money, so have that in mind. So now I'm gonna kinda go into my, my closet I want to show you guys something. I know I showed this on the house tour, but this is something that anyone literally can do is go to a thrift store. This thing cost me 50 cents. I talked about it. Um, I know I didn't sell it and it's not listed. I need to relist it because it expired, but I bought this for 50 cents and I got an offer for $80 within the first week that it was listed. If I would have taken that $80, that 50 cents, and I know you have 50 cents to go um, spend on a little vintage Disney set. If you have 50 cents or a dollar, you can go to a thrift store, 
find like a calculator. I've I've done this multiple times. I found a calculator that it was a dollar. I sold it for seventy. I found this vintage Disney set. I got an offer. I didn't take it because I thought I could get more, which was dumb. But if I would have taken that offer, I would have had eighty dollars. And then with that eighty dollars, I can go and start and invest into more products. And I'm gonna kind of show you downstairs with my brother with what he's doing with retail arbitrage. But let's go over to my guest bedroom. I kind of went through and um, went through my closet, as you guys can see, and I found a bunch of clothes that literally have tags on them. This is a brand new polo shirt, Ralph Lauren, that literally has tags on it that I, I could literally flip for a profit right now. I could sell it on Poshmark, I could sell it on eBay. I bought it for 98 bucks, and the tag's still on it. It's not doing me any good. I could sell that, even if I get 20 bucks out of it. Here's another one. Price tag on there. How much is it? 40 bucks. Even if I sell for 20 on Poshmark, brand new. And the thing is, is to sell clothes, they don't have to have the tags on them. This one, I got on sale for 50 bucks, brand new. I could sell that for a profit as well. I mean, it's kind of sad that I have so many shirts, an Oakley shirt, that I that I could literally just sell. Right now, and just right there, there's probably 150 bucks that's just sitting there that I'm not using. Yes, I wasted the money, but that money's already gone. I might as well recoup some money and get some of the profits back. So go through your closet, whether they still have tags on it, whether they're old, whether they're new, and you can list it on Poshmark. You have Macari, you have OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, uh, Craigslist, eBay. All those platforms are completely free. And all you need to do is just go list your products. Take a picture of it, put it on the wall, take a picture and list it and see if they sell. And if they sell, that's just sheer profit because you already own the articles of clothing. You just need to sell them for a profit. So um, those are t-shirts. Then I also found some shoes. Like these are brand new vans. They have dust on them that I haven't worn in who knows how long. They literally have dust if you can see right there. They have dust on them that I could sell for like 15 bucks or whatever they can they're like brand new as you can see they're literally brand new so maybe I sell them for 15 bucks it is what it is I make 15 bucks these ones again I've worn them a few times some element shoes I could sell for 15 bucks I could clean them up here's Nike's and Nike's sell really well on all the platforms they're white I just need to clean them up a little bit and if I clean them up I can sell them for a profit make 10 15 bucks a shoe so just right there in shoes that I don't wear anymore these are my wife's shoes, and then these are mine. I, I literally don't touch them. There's another $50 in profit. And then with that $50, I can then invest into new things or do retail arbitrage, which I'm about to show you. I also have like these, these socks. These are my wife's socks. They're brand new. I could sell these as well. So I just need to list these. And if I list these on like eBay or Poshmark or whatever the case is, I can make quick $200 just right there and $200 is almost is, is about how much I spent on my best selling product that's selling right now on private label now that's not always the case it's going to be a little difficult to find a private label product for 200 bucks but they're out there you just don't order as many um, units you can't customize it quite as much um, but I mean right there just there that's like 200 bucks and then not to mention a little thrift store find uh, for 50 cents that could have turned into 80 so um, that's an idea eBay Macari Poshmark go list your old stuff it's gonna take me maybe 20 minutes to clean these shoes take pictures of them and list them but if I do that that's just basically free money so um, that's the a second idea that you guys can do is just go around your house see what you can sell um, maybe you have some bigger things so like for example right here I have these pictures. Um, I haven't hung them up yet, but they're not super important to me. And if I wanted to, I could go sell these on like Facebook Marketplace and, and make some money out of them. I mean, they're brand new, 40 bucks. And I mean, they're just sitting there or like this mirror or whatever. Like th there's things around the house that you can sell and you just need to list them. So go through your house. It's kind of like a garage sale, but you just list it online and you sell it. So um, do that. And as you slowly start building up money, you'll have more money to then invest in your private label 
business. So that is just some ideas, and I hope you guys enjoy that, but let's get into another idea. All right, so let's go downstairs. My brother, um, he basically has his retail arbitrage business in my house. He uses my basement. Um, I should charge him for it, but I don't. But I'm going to kind of show you what he's doing. And what he's doing is like zero startup cost as well. It's like you can start with like 50 bucks. All right, so here's my brother and my dog right there. But look at all this product that he bought that he's labeling. He's changing the labels, peeling off the stickers, packaging it and then shipping it inside of Amazon. All right, to kind of show you how easy it is to literally scan and know whether a product is good or not, I'm going to have my brother, Cade, kind of show you and demonstrate exactly what he does. Um, and again, we have a video that goes more in depth, but this is just kind of to show you guys exactly what he's doing. So um, here he is. All right, so you just go to the scanner on your Amazon seller app. This, for example, um, I got this at the store. I went and scanned it. Um, it's right here. So the lowest price is ten dollars and two cents, and they sell this at the store for nine. Uh, sorry, a dollar. And then if we go to the the total profit, it's five dollars per unit, and I got twenty of them. So just real quick, that's just a hundred bucks profit that I got in a matter of just like literally just grabbing them and putting them in my cart. So each of these sells for a dollar at the store. He sells them for ten on Amazon after fees. He profits five bucks for each one, and with the twenty dollar investment, he just turned that into a hundred dollars. If you do that, what ten times, you have a thousand bucks to start Amazon private label. Go back to, um, yeah. So if you see right here, this is super important. When you click on this, you'll see that it says your seller eligibility. You need to make sure that you're eligible to sell it. Um, and if you scan it and it says like restricted or you're not eligible, then you can't sell that product. But if it says you're eligible, then that's a product that you can sell. So this is a product. What is it anyways? It's a cat it's treat. A, a cat treat. So most random product. He scanned it and boom, just like that, 100 bucks profit. Super easy. All right, so my brother and I were just kind of talking um, briefly of this big junk pile of, of profit, of bunch of money that he's going to make. Um, and a lot of people may seem like it sounds easy and yes, it's easy, but you have to put in the work. So, um, how kind of explain how, how many like items did you scan in order to find that product? I would say yeah, I would have to scan at, at least 20, if not more items before I find a product that is very profitable. Um, there's a lot of times when I find a product that may be profitable, but I have to like go into f further research to know if it really will sell. So you really have to just be dedicated, be patient, scan tons of different products before you can actually see the results. But if you do that, then you will see the results. There are some times when I go to a store and I may come out with absolutely nothing. Or there'll be another time when I go to a store and I come out with tons and tons of inventory and I, I spend a, a couple hundred dollars just on stuff like this that I can make a, about a thousand bucks on. So it, it just depends on the timing and depends on your patience and your dedication. You guys got to put in the work. And then maybe you'll have a cute dog like this, Hunzar. All right, so all of these, this big group right here, they're $8 at the store. They're actually 25% off, so they're actually $6, and they sell anywhere between $25 to $35. Uh, these bones right here, they were a dollar a piece, but an eight pack sells for thirty-two dollars, I believe it was. So total cost of the product was eight dollars, and it sells for thirty-two dollars. Um, let's see, just off the top of my head, each one of these books was a dollar, and they sell anywhere between twenty to forty dollars. Um, so those ones are huge profits. I, um, books can be sometimes hard to find, but when you find them, there's great profit on books. Golf gloves, those were ten dollars. They sell for twenty. Makeup, this is $4, um, and I have no idea how, how much it costs, but there's a good profit there too. Pretty much everything here is at least 50% profit, um, so it's, it's, it's awesome. I'll include a video that kind of shows exactly what the process is and how he scans it, but um, we did that video, what, it was probably like two or three months ago, 
just breaking down the whole retail arbitrage process and we kind of show you the exact process of how you can start with like 30 bucks you go to Walmart Target um, clearance aisles and you find these products and you just sell them on Amazon for more so it's super simple and that's scalable and you can do that with like a hundred bucks and a hundred bucks you can turn that into 200 real quick so um, like I was showing you you sell your shoes your old shoes your old shirts and you turn that into fifty a hundred dollars and then that hundred dollars you invest in retail arbitrage and then once you slowly invest that then you invest into private label so there's a bunch of different ways to basically start your FBA business it's just whether or not if you're willing to put in the work so um, those are some ideas if you guys want to watch that video go to the channel I'll, I'll include the link down below but uh, we did a video with my brother and we basically broke down the whole process and that is a great way to start and then once you have like a thousand bucks there you go you can start private label and you don't need to have that excuse of I don't have enough money to start so I hope you guys enjoy this video leave a comment down below for future videos that you guys would like to see Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.